Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. I do not have the money for it. I, I literally, I don't have the money for, to be able to train, to, to, to train, to train anybody in that. So that's going to have to wait. Treatment skill is going to have to wait. It's, it's not, it's not, an, it's not an option. We'll have to, well, I know what we'll do. We'll continue. I got nine people in each of these offices right here. We, we desperately need more diagnosis skills. But they're going to the GPs. Why are they going GP first and then going? So I need more diagnosis. Advanced diagnosis Patients with the doctors would be good. Patients may not be able to take money with them. Patients may not be able to take money with them. Okay. All right. Diagnosis plus 8%. I've got the clown thing that we're going to... Oh, now I've got 39,000. That's that's a lot more like it. Staff promotion from junior doctor to doctor. Very nice. Right, so his um, salary is going to have to go up like that. And, and we can go back over to here. And now we can actually, actually have a look at treatment. That's what it's got to be. It's got to be treatment in there. Like that. And training masterclass. Increase teaching and learning speed. That might be useful. Trainers available has got to be Dr. Meredith Beard, a guest trainer right there. Trainees available. Let's have a look down through here. So I, a doctor or two would be not the research doctor, but one of the psychiatry doctors. We will train. And then I want some of the junior nurses. Now, we've got diagnostics on some of these junior nurses. So that one there, junior nurse. That junior nurse. There's two junior nurses that I've taken out. And I've got a student doctor. So there's two junior nurses and a doctor. We'll take... an. Uh, uh, we, do I take another doctor as well? Yes. Do it. Go for it. Take out another doctor and go for another junior nurse as well. I've got five people. Tra you know what? I'm going to go all out on this. I'm going to take another one. Uh, that, that's now unaffordable. 39,000. 10,000 and another 30 grand for that. Nope, I can't do that. So your nurse Lydia mouth, you can stay there. The rest of these will be trained up in diagnosis, in treatment. Right, start training. That's 35,000. It's going to take 41 days to get the last person trained on there. It's going to be worth it. It's definitely going to be worth it. Right, keep going. Now, I am short a little bit on staff at the moment. You, not the deluxe clinic. This person right here, health low. Doctor required in psychiatry. Jump the queue. You need to jump the queue if you've got low health like that. We will do that. 8, 11 in here. I need another doctor and I need another doctor's office. That's the only thing that we can do. So let's go to hire first and we will go to doctors over here. I don't have the money just yet to hire another doctor, but I will. Ha oh, wait a minute. No, that's per annum, isn't it? Right. Natalie Fairfax, unhygienic. Plus 50% teaching speed if I use her for teaching. That's actually pretty good. Unhygienic again. Charming, contrary to uh, despite their best efforts. It's people happier. All right, let's go with that one. Let's bring you in. New illness, mucky feet. Feet so grubby that the filth will never come out. Spreads germs like wildfire. We will send a patient for treatment in our ward. Right, so I've got a ward over here that is able to do things. I'm wondering if I should have an extra nurse in here to help with treatment. What have you got? You've got pharmacy skills and you've got diagnostic skills. It's not great at the moment. You over here, GP office, so I'll bring that one down. So next what I'm going to do is GP's office. I'm going to copy... Patients try to behave like human beings. That means you. Can patients try to behave like human beings. Right. This hospital is in debt. Apparently, I am not going to be copying that room just now. So, forget about that. I'm minus 810. I'm a bit, one of our biggest staff challenge. Georgia Hooferlump. Georgia Hooferlump has a request. I'm not usually one for suggestions, but the other day I had this great idea. I can't stop thinking about it. What if we were to, like, cure some people? Wouldn't that be cool? Cure 10 patients in 90 days. Yeah, I accept that. That is definitely an accept. 
Right, Georgia Hooverlump. Nine people here, nine people here. We definitely need to be able to do another One lucky office. hospital had a visit from Augustus Lavender, the holistic CEO today. But I'm not sure anybody wants an emergency aromatherapy ward. Nobody wants an emergency aromatherapy ward. Right, I want to turn that doctor's office around and I want to plop that one down like that. And then I want to take that and move those off to the side like that and i'll do the same with that one and the same with that one so that it is around the window and boom there i have another doctor's office and we can go to the items and we can put in some more purple benches over here now i've only got room for a two by three room there it's basically some more toilets we've got the deluxe Oh, Lux thingy working over here. But a lot of patients are queuing outside rooms that are run by doctors, but there aren't any available. This is a slight problem. GP's office. I've got a new doctor in there. I shouldn't have anybody assigned in research at the moment. I've got one. Oh, no, I've got two doctors in here. But I've got a doctor in there. Train 20 staff to collect your reward. Go to the career goals. Uh, we've just got five grand for training. There is a nurse there that is working in the ward. They now have treatment. So we're more likely to get treatment done. We've got another five grand for some more treatment completed. And spreading out these here. This is going to be good. We should be getting some more people coming through. Another five grand. And I'm now capturing... I've captured a ghost. Where did she capture the ghost? I didn't even see that happening. Look at all of these people that we've got in here. There are loads of them. Announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Special report. Challenge. You cured four out of... Well done. We cured enough of the patient group. Four out of seven. Okay. Uh, this has helped our reputation. We got ten rep. 10k points and ten thousand dollars right well that's a good thing and we've got that one over there that we'll be doing some more stuff with soon hopefully these doctors will start to build up speed a bit i've got nothing coming into here we got more diagnosis uh, diagnostic got diagnosis diagnostics diagnosis coming in over here i've got a whole load of people with the the chromotherapy I don't, yeah, well, I don't have any doctors in research. I don't need doctors in research at the moment. How big is this room supposed to be? General diagnosis, pharmacy, GP's office, reception, cardiology. It's a three by three. This is the problem. I, I need a two by two room to go in there. I suppose I could put a three by three room here and move some of those benches over there and turn that into the waiting area, sort of down through this side. That would work. We could do it like that. I've got the Deluxo Lux over this side. It's working. Clowns are going to be needed soon. The queue outside the GP's office. I've got loads in there. Right, what about you? Do you have... Yes, you do. I think they go automatically where they're supposed to go. So... Ooh. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. It bodes well that your organization has begun to dabble in research. Our initial note suggested, wrong it seems, that you weren't, where, weren't well suited to this particular task. Rest assured that whoever is responsible for such an off-the-mark remark will be losing their job forthwith. Unless it was me, of course. Perish the thought. Continue with your studies for more rewards, or go elsewhere and expand your organization. Yours fragrantly... Tarquin Foxbridge, Health Minister. Excellent. So we have got another 100 kudosh points. We've got 10,000 bonus dollars. We've got the Encyclopedia bookcase and the Deluxo Lux 3. Ooh, very nice. Uh, I'm not going to stay in the hospital. I'm going to move on to another new location. So we will open our map. Dear Hospital Administrator, your organization shows great promise. And as a result, you've been chosen to take part in the Bungle Superbug Initiative. Congratulations. The Superbug Initiative was founded with the intention of connecting the finest minds in the county in order to tackle our most pressing medical concerns. 
Since then, Superbug has transformed into the premier interface for all forms of research and technology. You have been given access to the Superbug network. When you're ready, dive headfirst into the exciting world of collaborative research. Thank you. So Sophie Nova, CEO, Bungle Technologies. Okay. Jasmine Odyssey wants to combine two of her favorite things, nice smells and clean hands, with what she's calling her nice smelling sanitizer. We've got that. She asked the Superbug Initiative to gather a huge amount of data so that her aromatic technicians can design the finest, most fragrant sterilizer Two Point County has ever seen. The Superbug Initiative has launched a global project. Check the Superbug Network to contribute to the project and collect rewards. Thank you for your continued cooperation. Sophie Nova, CEO, Bungle Technologies. Continue. Right. We want to go up here. There was also a uh, Two Point Foundation... Share price $70, shares $22,000, organization value $1.6 million. Ooh. Mind if I do? Right. Uh, Korea here. That's what we've got. See, right there. So we get 100k points for curing 100 patients. We are on our way to cure with, with, with. Oh, cure with jest infection. Four. Collect there. Promote 500 staff, 16. Earn 10 million. Uh, 8 million remaining. Earn a thousand K points. We get a hundred K points for earning a thousand. Don't mind if I do. Two point health ministry is awarded you one hundred. Earn five thousand K points. So what else have we got? Get three stars in Mitten University. Get three stars in Tumble. Three stars in Flemington. Get fifteen stars. Eleven remaining. Repair a hundred machines. Water a hundred plants. Unblock a hundred toilets. Restocks. Uh, launch 10 marketing campaigns, train 20 staff, 200k points for that. Get an organization value of $10 million. Train a member of staff in Diagnostics 5, Psychiatry 5, Research 5, Surgery 5. Wow. Okay, there's some very cool career goals here to go for. I'm doing hair removal at the moment. I'm still working on that one, so I haven't done anything else with it. Um... There's nothing else that I do. Like the nice smelling research, that's all finished. Two days remaining. Project completed, see? That's that's all done. We don't need to worry about that one, I don't think. And I think some of it is online stuff where I'm supposed to interact with other people. So I'm assuming that at some point they're going to want me to, like, I need to go back to doing some, working on some of these other hospitals and, and doing more stuff. So I got that one. That is Flemington. Get a star in Mitten University and a star in Tumble. So we need to work on Tumble next. This is the one where we have the broken legs and arms and so on and so forth. Treat all manner of breaks and bruises in his sub subalpine playground, the county's home for hiking, fishing and falling down. Welcome to Tumble. This small town attracts tourists from across the county to climb Tumble Ridge and hike along the Tumble Downs. Lucky for us, this generates hundreds of fractured bones each year. Cha-ching! <laughs> oh, I do love this game. This game is absolutely brilliant. We'll need to build a fracture ward. <laughs> it's just that lucky for us, this generates hundreds of fractured bones. That's, that's just brilliant. That is priceless. Uh, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> we'll need to build a fracture ward to deal with these injuries. I recommend building a standard ward and other essentials too. Make sure to keep everyone warm with some radiators. Tumble has been known to experience seismic activity, so look out for earthquake warnings. We'll need janitors ready to deal with any damage. Fracture ward unlocked. Some parts of the county are quite cold or too hot, yada yada yada. We've already dealt with that bit. Fracture ward is unlocked. I've got a helicopter landing pad right there. This part of the county is quite cold. We'll want to put down radiators. Now, there's the main entrance. I've got more entrances over here. That is a second plot. And that is another. So, yeah, we've got other plots that we can develop later on, should we so desire. Now, it is not paused at the moment, so we want to pause it. The one thing that I don't particularly like is that when I click on rooms, I don't have pre-built rooms. So I have to go and design all the rooms all the way through, which I'm not a big fan of this idea. But anyway, um, that's what we're just going to have to live with. So we've got reception right here, which will go directly opposite the main doors like that, like we've done several times already. We'll put that one in there. 
Then we will put a bin near the reception desk. We will put a extinguisher. I can't put that one on there, and I can't put it on there. Can't put it anywhere on here. Let's not worry about that one for a minute. I am going to want a radiator, which I could put in the corner like that, and in the corner like that, so it makes it lovely and toasty in here. And then we're going to be turning this into a waiting area. So we're going to want a drinks machine there with some burp, and we're going to want the cheesy gubbins right there. We will put another bin over there. Then we will go with some purple benches. I like the purple benches. Let's put that one over there first. I'll bring that one back like that. That one can move over a little bit. And we'll go one, two, and three. I won't do any more than that because we're also going to be putting benches outside of all of the... Um, Treatment rooms, so we don't really need to worry about benches. I'll put a leaflet stand right there. Then we will go with a plant on the end of that one there. And I'll go with another plant there beside the desk. And I can put a plant there, like that. Which I think will work out fairly well. So, that's, that's looking pretty good. Maybe I'll put a yucca plant over here next to the window. Right, so we've, we've got greenery. Ooh, a jasmine stand. That's 11 grand. Yeah, I don't want to put that in. I tell you what I could do. I could put a jasmine odyssey poster. Right there, so people can look at it. There. Everybody is pleased with the jasmine odyssey po uh, uh, poster. So we've got that bit there. Reception. See, I could go for a reception room. I don't want to do reception room. Because, like, here, if, if I put that down, I could bring that out like that. I don't want to do that. Um, yes, I want to stop editing that room. I don't want it. I, I just want to have that like that. I don't need a reception room. But what I will do is we'll run down here and we will go with toilets straight away. And we'll put those not right over. I'll bring them back by one. Now, what I've done previously is I've done a two by three. If I go up there, that's like as much as we can. So there's going to be a narrow corridor there, but I'll have a reasonable size toilet room. Or I could sort of do a three by three right on the corner and we could turn that into a GP's office and we could put the toilets over that way somewhere. Which I think we'll do that. Do you want to stop editing this room? Yes, I do want to stop editing this room. So we will put right on this corner, we'll go, this one will be the GP's office. One, two, three, like that, with that one in there. Then that one goes there like that. Filing cabinet there, and another one. Oh. Doesn't fit another one in there. I, I genuinely thought that it would have fit another one in there. What about scales? It's not going to fit them in either. So we will swivel those around and we'll put the scales right there. I will do the standard big bin. The bin will go there. The fire extinguisher will go next to it on the wall. The filing cabinet... Actually, I've got an idea for this. We will turn you round... And put you there, and then I can have my other filing cabinet, because I want two. I want two of them right there, like that. And what else? We've we got the bin. A plant to go in here somewhere. Let's, let's drop that one down there. That will fit quite nicely in there. And the bookcase. That one, I want to put the bookcases over here. One there, and... One there. There's a lot of prestige with the bookcases. I put three bookcases down through because there's a lot of prestige going in with them. We cannot... Right, we, we do need the hand sanitizer, although I'll put that outside the room. I won't put that in here. The radiator is important. That can go in there. 
And then we're going to put a rug on the floor. Actually, that could go underneath the... No, it won't. That will go back here a bit, like that. That will make the room look really good. I've got no posters on the wall. We need our Jasmine Odyssey posters to go on the wall here somewhere. Where is Jasmine going to go? Jasmine goes on the wall right there. That will make her happy. And we can also put a chair here. And we cannot put a chair up because the um, all of those require X room. The chair will just go there. Sort of an extra chair. So it's plonked in the middle, I know. But um, I think that would actually be acceptable. Should we go for a... Let's see if we can get a prestige level 4 in here, shall we? So we want, we're going to need some posters in here to make this work. So I want that one up there. We'll put a clown poster. See what I'm going to do? I'm going to put three of these in a line. I haven't got any more posters, have I? There's no... Or, or is there? Is there any more to unlock? You think that's all of the posters unlocked? Is there's rugs down there? Oh no, no, we got loads more posters. We got anatomy, brain anatomy, food pit. Definitely want the food pyramid. It's only fifteen k points. Definitely got to have a food pyramid in here. Um, bureaucrats poster, two hundred and fifty points. That one is eight bitten poster. It's all well and good that they look charming, but these people have a problem. Go with that. It's only 35 points, so that one can go in as well. I love the selection. They don't give you a huge amount. Animal Magnetism, Mockstar, Grey Anatomy, Pandemic. There are loads of posters. Cheese Water Canvas. Right, let's not go with any more of those for now. We will possibly unlock more posters later. We can go with another Jasmine Odyssey picture. I've got one over there. I'll put one over this side as well like that. Uh, the gold record is obviously an important one. That can go in there. Hmm, maybe I should... Oh, we haven't, I haven't put up a Rorschach poster yet, have I? No, I haven't. I've got those other colourful ones, but there's no Rorschach poster gone in yet. So that one can go up there. And the eye test. Well, I guess really that is the only place I can put the eye test. It's... <laughs> It's not ideal, is it? Not not really. There's not really the, the best way to do the whole eye test thing. But uh, Jasmine Odyssey, there, yeah, that just makes it to Prestige Level 4. Surprisingly difficult to reach Prestige Level 4, isn't it? But there is our doctor's office with all of these po I love these posters. Those are brilliant. I've never really stopped to look at the posters very well. If you, you look at these, like, well, obviously those are older ones. But like that one there, we've got the light switch. Uh, the, the light bulb, but then the, the, the switch on the chest and everything. I love the... I, I really do like these posters. These are very cool. So there's our new doctor's office all set up and ready to roll. We now need toilets over this side. That's the next room that we're going to do. And this one we will go with some fairly standard toilets that we've done before. Bog standard. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, let's move the plant a minute over to there. And then we will go back and we will do our bog standard, bog standard box over here. That's not going to work. It's too close to that bin. Um, I suppose I could put one here. Yeah, like the, that's that's where I want to put it. And then out there, that's, that's close to the bin. I might end up moving that forward a little bit then. So we'll go like this. And I'm going to move it over by there. That's that's how I want this room to look. And we will put the door at... No, I won't put the door there. Let me change that one round a minute. You... Corridor... Door must join to a corridor. Huh? It does join to a corridor. Is that not a corridor? Okay, it doesn't like that. Let me stop editing. Might be because of those benches there. That could be it. Wouldn't surprise me if that's the case. Right, four over there like that. No. Really doesn't like that. That's got to be because of that bench right there. 
Let me stop that one a minute. Yes, and that plant, I will move the plant over there just a little bit. That bin also seems to be a slight problem, but that one can go up there. Shouldn't be a problem being up there, and then people can get round quite comfortably. Then I've got over this side, that bench. Sell for a hundred. Wondering if that one is possibly causing problem with the um, positioning of the door on the toilets. So let's try that again. We'll go down here like that. Yes. It's because of the bench being where it was. Right, so now I've got the door on the right. What it means is I'm now able to put a room right in there tight if I want to. So now we need to put the toilet cubicles in. One, two, and three into there. This is why we need the room quite as long as it is. So then I can put the sink in there like that. And then the hand dryer will go there like that and we have a big bin next to the hand dryer over that side and a fire extinguisher can go there on that wall hand sanitizer can also go in there and then i'm going to need a radiator in this room because there's nothing worse than a chilly bathroom a chilly toilet there i'm not going to bother about any pictures or anything in there we will do it We'll simply leave it like that, I think. Right, build room. There are the toilets. So I've got toilets. I've got reception. I've got this one out here. Can I now go and put down, put back a bench out here? No, I can't because of the doorway. Right, okay. So as long as we know that that's there and that's, that's kind of an, an, an issue. I can put benches up against the toilet over here if I want to, but I'm, I'm not going to. We, we don't desperately need those. So that's them, and then we're going to be wanting basic treatment rooms. So we're going to be starting off with diagnosis and a few others. They did say that we, we need a ward. I've got research, chromotherapy. I've got a fracture ward down here. They said build a basic ward. So I'll build a basic ward here, and then I'll build a fracture ward over that side. Um, and we'll do those into the corners, right? Yeah, so then that one will be out to the side. Uh, I'm going to need a staff room. I've got the toilets done. Ward in here. Right, one, two, three. I need a four by three minimum. I'm actually going to take that as a six by three. And then invalid corner location, right? So I bring that one there like that. And then I've got this desk can go there right into that corner as the patients come in and then that one can go there we know this because i've done this before that fits perfectly in like that then we want beds so i can put a bed right over there let's bring that round a bit yeah that will go right into that corner and i need to leave it out a little bit i need to give them a bit of space i can't remember where i need to put it I think that's too close. I think it's got to go all the way over to here. Let me do that bit first because I can. I want. I like to being able to put a bed table in a bedside table because I can't put the bedside table in that way round. I've got to actually put the bedside table in. I can't put it like that. I mean, I. I I've got to put it in that way round. So that one will go there for the bedside table, and then. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.